This is this Ooh. week's paid promoter snippet. Or whatever, then f it, you know? At least I tried, you know? Empty stomach with a full clip. Different day, but I proceed to repeat with the bullshit. Nine to five, you don't pay the rent. Sick and tired, let's go get it lit. Get it lit. Punish up the brick. Put me in the mix. Really, cause it's smoked up on my seat. Put me in the twist. Like what you heard, be sure to click down below in the description. And also feel free to email us at complexabition401 at gmail. BAM! Look, they gonna love me for my ambition. It says here, be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will create that fact. Complex ambition. Beautiful music, painted pictures, it be my vision. Shout out to everybody out there in the world. You guys could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us today again. Complex Ambition. So, my name is YI. And everybody out there in the world, remember you guys have a complex ambition yourself. Also, so does this little cute motherfucker. Uh, cute little motherfucker. Uzi. He's cute to me, man. Uh, he reminds me of, uh, you know, if I were to have a little brother uh, who was shorter than me, richer than me, and would get more bitches than me. He would be a little oozy. Before we get He's into this, viral. Um, guys, make sure you check out our interview with Trippy Red. He was right yes. here, right yes. there in the back seat. He didn't look like or act like exactly. Bro, even the nigga's voice. Bro, that's fifty cent. That's fifty cent ass nigga. PTSD. PTSD sounds just like fifty cent. Shit, it's like the reincarnation of fifty cent. Hopefully, uh, we get my little brother, little Uzi, in the back Absolutely. doing doing the shoulder shimmy, Absolutely. doing the shoulder shimmy. Absolutely. Um, man, this uh, these past couple of weeks has been pretty crazy. A lot of releases, everything's been dropping, dropping. Little Uzi is someone who's had the most anticipated project, I would say, in a while. And with doesn't eternal did, take. So people are saying dates now, right? He said on Instagram Live uh, a couple days ago, Eternal Take two weeks. It was like three seconds, and people were like. Did he say internal to take in two weeks? So people are assuming, okay, internal take is dropping in two weeks, which would be not this Friday, but next Friday, um, because he said that on Friday. I think it might actually be true due to the fact that we have this random release of a single mm. called That Way, that which way. dropped, I guess, on Leap Day, uh, same day or same night of the Drake release. Um, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't this, know what's This going is crazy. On. Uh, it's really sporadic. People yes. really drop during uh, actual release dates, which is Thursday nights, Friday but now these releases have been happening on Saturday nights, Sunday mornings. It has to be the leap days. I, I'm assuming that's why I was trying to think. Like, damn, it's probably because it was leap day. Like, it's such a nah, rare thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, that's every four that's years, it. whatever it is. I yeah. don't know. That's maybe uh, a reason as to why you know they made it one on drop. But I don't know. Nobody really knows at this point. Artists are just doing. What they want? What they want at this point? I don't know. But it's Drake and it's, yeah, Lil, Uzi, it's Lil Uzi. So they're big. People so are going to listen to it regardless. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And we're excited, man. Uh, we gave you guys the foot salt shuffle. Mm. Uh, here's the clip right here. <laughs> Told us 2020 is going to be his year. He's going to make us dance. And now we have this record. It's called That Way. And you've seen the cover heart. He's getting his shot. It's heart shot in the, like way by like a heart itself. It's, Very cool cover. It's pretty dope. Um, Lil Uzi's one of those creative guys. He goes viral without needing without needing to even post. Like, it's something about him. He has like a cult following that's really eccentric yeah. and really dope. Um, yeah. and it's kind of revolutionary to be honest. And it just goes to show you that he's a lovable guy. So we're gonna get into this lovable guy's new single that way. Hopefully, it's a lovable track because I've been wanting some Lil Uzi, man. Oh wow! Is it the Backstreet Boys? So from the jump, that's the Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. But I want it that way. Tell me why it ain't nothing out of me. Tell me why it ain't nothing out of me. Cause I want it that way. Oh, um, my boy Justin Timberlake going hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Was it Justin Timberlake, right? I confused him with Sync. One of those white oh, bands. Shit. I don't know. To me, they're the same, uh, same people. Whoa, for real! Wow. One, one of them had Nick Lachey, right? Or was Nick Lachey just someone that I have had, no like, idea girls? now? My whole world is fucked up. Can't call 911 cause I've been reading all 
that way, man, it's something that goes to show you, um, I was thinking about it, literally, like, it's in his name, uh, well, I guess that's not what he literally means, but he's, uh, really versatile, because I was thinking, like, before Feudal Shuffle, what was, like, the song that people was talking about, it was the song where he was, like, rapping, rapping, right, the, he even shouted us, uh, us out, like, Providence, I get my, mm. we, we, from, we from Providence, some shit, my plug out in Providence, and he gave us Food Sauce Shuffle, and I was giving us this, these are three different sounding, um, songs completely and this one is way more like um uh, i can hear on the radio i can hear you know the demographic which is probably the, the main demographic like the white kids singing this at the concert the, especially the hook at least because the verses i'm not sure what he's going on with the verses i was trying to see if he had like some little sneaky bars yeah uh he really wasn't going hard with the bars in the verses uh i think it's just um he just wanted to give a vibe out yeah like a, like a, it's a good time i think i think Lil uzi is great at doing that he just allows people to just have a good time with his music um, it's not, nothing too serious. The production was great. The the um, he paid big time money for the label paid big time money for this uh, sample, boys. and I think um, that's so random. I think if this single does not meet the quota, the album is gonna keep on being pushed back. Mm-hmm. Because because, so there has to be something, uh, some sort of play behind this. Like, bro, there's a, m- a lot of money there, man. It would have to be a lot of money because that's a that's a legendary legendary sample. It would be classic if he does the music video. <laughs> bless you. Uh, the music video with the Backstreet Boys, uh, whether, that would be whether, it's Tim, whether it's Timberlake or whichever one of them niggas was in it, uh, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Doing like a skit or something to like elevate it more. Because this song, I think if you were to do the video, do some shit like that, it would elevate it more. Because Absolutely. it would be essential. Because you need, you need something like... And I think this is going to grow on people. I think it's going to grow on me. I'm not really feeling it too much. I'm back right now. Yeah, it's, like, it's not nothing nothing impressive. Yeah. Um, not, not, nothing like he put his, like his fucking put a stamp on. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. It was just a great sample. And sometimes great samples can make songs have more longevity than others. And 100%. I think this is going to do with this one. This is going to be... I think this song is going to be in the radio for a bit. I think this is a great first, you know introduction maybe to the album yeah i think this is the first like no i put on shuffle too but these two are the first like singles. two yeah two singles this one feels more like a single yeah this I feels guess, way right? more like a single especially with the sample bro they're trying to do something yeah they're trying to make money off this so they can put it back into the album yeah and he's been um you know really creative when it comes to at least uh single cover cover arts the yeah. art uh so i think the art direction is going to be really dope uh, he tends to be like that, really creative with the anime uh, yeah. and comic book uh, references. He does a lot. Um, man, I'm just excited for Uzi. I want the album. You know, I really want the album. Hopefully, we really get it. That's going to be really fun and exciting to listen to. But the, it's also like there's a lot of pressure on him mm-hmm. because it can't be bad. Mm-hmm. You know, if mm-hmm. it's bad, yeah. it's like we've yeah. gotten so many leaks. People have listened to all the leaks and like people are really not satisfied. This thankfully wasn't a leak. Uh, because a lot of the times, like, the songs that he's been kind of, like, promoting as, like, possible singles on SoundCloud, whatever, they're, like, leaks that he mm-hmm. just masters. This is a fresh, brand new song. Uh, let us know down below in the comments, how do you guys feel about this record? Is it a hot record? Uh, is it your favorite record? Is it, like, wow, exciting, little Uzi's back? Or are you like, fuck this shit, I want the fucking album? Let us fucking know. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you guys feel about our reaction? Until next time, comment the bitch and everybody out there, subscribe, follow everything on Instagram. Until next time, peace. Whatever Uzi does. Stop. Dad's got a side chick on side chick. Dad keep hacking my iPhone. Yeah. About to get a sidekick.